All right, let's move on to question two. Find the area of a rectangle that has a length of 5x plus 4 and a width of 4x minus 4. Now, to find the area of a rectangle, you just multiply length times width. So we're just going to multiply those two. So we're going to put here 5x plus 4 and 4x minus 4. And we're going to multiply them. Since you have a binomial and a binomial, you are going to use the FOIL method. So you multiply the first times the first, the first term times the first term. 5 times 4 is 20. X times X, here's the one that a lot of kids get a little messed up on. X times X is X to the second power. The reason it's to the second power is because there's a 1 here and a 1. And what do you do with exponents when you multiply? You add them. So we have 20x squared. Now we do, that's f for FOIL, f for first. Now we multiply o the, for outer. So it's this one, the outside term times the outside term. 5x times 4, it's actually negative 4, is negative 20x. Then we multiply 4 times positive 4x. Those are the inner for the i. 4 times 4x is 16x. Then we multiply the last times the last. So the last term of this one is the 4 times the negative 4 is negative 16. So look at the way we have it. The first term goes to the each one and then the second term goes to each one. So make sure when you do FOIL that each one gets multiplied. So then we combine like terms and we do have like terms, the two inside ones, the negative 20 and the positive 16. Since they are different signs, you're gonna subtract them. So it's gonna end up being negative 20 and positive 16 would be negative four. And of course it would be negative because 20 is bigger. So then now I'm left with 20x squared minus 4x minus 16. And we box our answer. And there you go. That's number two. Let's go ahead and do another one. Same thing. Find the area of a rectangle that has a length of 3x minus 5 and a width of 2x minus 1. To find the area of a rectangle, you multiply the length times the width. So we are going to multiply 3x minus 5 and 2x minus 1. We're going to use FOIL, so first times the first. So 3x times 2x, it's going to be 6x squared, because remember we add the exponents when we multiply. Then we're going to do the outer 3x times negative 1, which would be negative 3x. Then we do the inner ones, the two inside ones, which are the negative 5 and the 2x. That would be negative 10x. Then we multiply the last negative 5 times negative 1, negative times a negative is a positive 5. Then we combine like terms, and our like terms in this case are the x and the x, this one with this one. Since they're the same sign, you are going to add them. The first term stays the same because there's nothing to combine. Negative 3x and negative 10x is negative 13x. And I do not put x to the second power because you are just combining like terms. I'm not multiplying. I'm just adding or subtracting. So the letter stays the same. Plus 5. So just remember, when you multiply is when you add exponents. When you add or subtract or combine like terms, the, the exponent stays the same. And there you go. All right, another one. Find the area of a rectangle that has a length of 7x plus 2 and a width of 7x minus 2. 
area of a rectangle is length times width, so we're going to multiply those two. So we put 7x plus 2, 7x minus 2, and since it's a binomial and a binomial, we are going to do FOIL. First times the first. So 7x times 7x would be 49x squared, because remember, when you multiply, you add the exponents. Then we do the outer, 7x times negative 2, which would be negative 14x. Then we do the inner, 2 times 7x, that's positive 2 times positive 7, positive 14x. Then we do the last, positive 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. Then we combine like terms. The like terms in this case would be the negative 14x and the positive 14x because they both have an x. But since they're different signs, you're going to subtract them. And if you notice, negative 14 and positive 14 ends up being 0. And anything times 0 is going to be 0. So then they end up canceling out because they're different signs, so they cancel out. Then you're left with 49x squared minus 4. And that's it. You cannot combine those because one of them has a letter, the other one does not. Ta-da!